had tweeted a video of his Bharat Joro Yatra in which he is seen interacting with AGS of South Central Railway's employee Sank. And in the video, he asked Bharani Bhanu Prasad about parts of Indian railways which have been privatized. So in response, uh, the individual tells him that everything from uh, railway stations to railway workshops to railway medical hospitals and railway establishments are going to be privatized. He also claimed that contracts are being given to big companies, mostly owned by top industrialists, where the union railway minister has a member, in fact, has further stated that 151 trains have already been privatized. Let's listen into this conversation first and then we'll get you what the Press Information Bureau had to say when it fact-checked Rahul Gandhi on the scene. Which part of Indian railways are they privatizing? Railway stations, sir. Okay. Railway workshop, railway medical hospitals, railway establishment going to be privatized. When are they planning to do this? Are they already doing slowly, slowly? Yes, sir. Slowly, slowly. Who are they giving them to? Big companies or small companies? No, big companies. Big, big companies, sir. Ambani, Adani, Adani. and all, all their affiliated companies. So, Adani is getting railways also? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. His private trains already introduced in the Indian railway. Trains have been sponsored. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adani trains. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adani. 151 trains. Total 151 trains have been privatized, sir. Now, PIB was quick to stamp Rahul's tweet as fake, wherein in a tweet it stated that claim of 151 trains and other railways assets have been privatized is completely fake and baseless. It categorically added that railways is not privatizing any of its assets, while the Congress dismissed the fact check by claiming that the PIB has become MIB these years. BJP on the other hand said that Rahul is a serial offender and that he is fed information from WhatsApp University. Rahul Gandhi is a serial liar and this is not the first time he has been caught with his lies. He had lied about Pradhan Mantri saying that Chaukidar Chor hai and there was Chori in Rafal and the Supreme Court chastised him for that. He had to apologize in front of the Supreme Court. He also lied about other things on RSS and other facts for which he has been taken to court where he has had to submit various kinds of apologies for the lies he peddles. And the Congress party is a party of liars and therefore they keep peddling these lies and they get called out for it. Parantu, Janta samaj chuki hai ki these people only lie, they try to create a false image, a false propaganda and these people don't even shy away to lie against constitutional authority. Track kiska hai? Track Bharati Railway ka hai. Patri kiski hai? Railway ki hai. Station kiska hai? Railway ka hai. Upar ke joh bijli ke taar hai, woh kiski hai? Railway ke hai. Engine kiska hai? Railway ka hai. Train ki joh coaches hai, woh kiski hai? Railway ki hai. सिग्नलिंग सिस्टम किसका है रेलवे का है कहां प्राइवेटाइजेशन की बात है अध्यक्ष जी कहीं कोई प्राइवेटाइजेशन की बात नहीं मेरे पूर्ववत पूर्ववर्ती माननीय मंत्री श्री पीयूष जी गोयल ने सदन के फ्लोर पे क्लियरली कहा था कि रेलवे एक ऐसा कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है इसमें कहीं पर भी प्राइवेटाइजेशन की कोई बात ही नहीं है कोई प्राइवेटाइजेशन की रेलवे के प्राइवेटाइजेशन की बात नहीं है अध्यक्ष जी all right, so you heard that from the Union Railway Minister, but this is not for the first time that's simply happening when the controversy that has hit Rahul Gandhi. In 2015, Rahul Gandhi apparently said that people from the RSS killed Mahatma Gandhi. In 2019, Rahul Gandhi apparently also wrongly linked Rafal order to Chokidar phase. And in also in another year, Congress party claimed that FDI from China drastically increased under the Prime Minister's regime. We have Samia with us joining us live. Uh, Samia, good morning to you. Uh, yet another claim that is being fact-checked by the PIB as false that is being made by Rahul Gandhi. In a way, he has also supported it with a video calling some individuals from the Union Railway Ministry to be uh, involved in this, saying that railway is in a way being privatized. A very good morning to you too. But, uh, you know, this is not the first time around that Rahul Gandhi has gotten mired into controversy for which uh, he has been called out on facts alone. Uh, but this time around, the Congress Party maintains that this is not a fact or a data or some sort of an information that the Congress Party has presented uh, to the public at large. They're purely going by the narrative and the conversation that Rahul Gandhi had with the employees of the railway ministry, uh, for the, from the railway itself. And they are going by that conversation which has been quoted in that particular tweet.
uh, it's for the government of the day to now try to come out and clarify, although they do not really attach a lot of credence to the PIB fact check, the Congress party sees it ends up becoming a mouthpiece for the government of the day. But we will have to wait and see if an official reaction comes from the Congress party so that really nobody has come out to either substantiate it or deny it. But at the very outset, the Congress party maintains that uh, they stand by uh, what the uh, Rahul Gandhi has put out as a tweet is concerned. We, as the Congress party maintains, they did see how the airports have been privatized. They have been seeing how the, you know, uh, even the railway ministry has been contemplating to try and uh, privatize or give it to private players when it comes to uh, the maintenance or the upkeep or the shops that are there on the railway stations in the right. bid for modernization and better revenue. And they're going to stick by their stand. So we have to wait and see. This is going to become a massive area of showdown between both the Congress Party and the BJP. Whether at all Congress Party will officially react to this or not, we will have to uh, wait it out. Well, of course, uh, and it is uh, one of the embarrassing moments for Kong MP, wherein this fact check is coming across, wherein he has been shown mineral. Well, thank you, Samia, for all those updates. We'll keep tracking this story. On that note, it's a quick break.